Hi guys, super excited, super, 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 super excited to do today's review because I get to review this very coveted palette by Kevin Akon and it's the Legacy palette. I am just ecstatic, so I'm just gonna jump right into the review. So here's what the palette looks like. It comes with a little envelope pouch and inside of it is the palette itself. So, this is what the pouch looks like. It's super classy. I could definitely see myself using it just as a purse if I'm going out at night or whatever. Or you can also use it to carry the pouch, uh, to carry the palette inside. It's a padded pouch so that if you take your palette um, to travel, it will protect it pretty good. It looks really, really classy, slick black. And it's not leather. I don't believe, but it looks like a very high quality material that resembles leather. So it is super classy looking and it's got the Kevin Akon logo up on the front. So that's really cool. And then the palette itself looks like this, very, very classy looking. Um, the outside of it is made from the same material as that pouch. And then on the back you have the color description. So in this palette you get, you get 12 eye colors and then you get a medium sculpting powder and then candlelight highlighter. So really exciting. So this is what the palette looks like inside. You get full size mirror, huge mirror, and then you got your um, eyeshadows and the two cheek colors. The palette is beautiful. Um, I learned about it a couple of months ago and then I was waiting for it to be released and when it did I snatched it right up. Um, it is pricey. It is $165, but um, I really love it. Um, today I'm wearing everything from the palette, and I really, really love it. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the colors, but before I do that, I'm just going to review the little brushes that come with it. So you get a cheek brush that comes with the palette. And it looks like this. Um, you know, I'm never crazy about any kind of brushes that come with the palettes. I think they're totally useless. Um, then you get this... I don't know what they call these. It's not a brush. So that, I'm definitely not using that ever. And then I guess you get two, two of them and they're double-sided. I don't ever... I, I get them with Chanel, you know, and you get them with like other expensive um, eyeshadows. It's like, I don't, who uses that? That's not a brush, so I don't care for that. But um, the colors are really, really cool. And I'm just going to start swatching. And hopefully my camera will pick up the actual colors because they're pretty. So the first color is called Iced Gold. And it's this guy right here. And honestly, one of the reasons why I got this palette is because it had this color in. It is a insanely pretty um, like golden white color. Here's the swatch for it. Really pretty. I'm wearing it as a highlight on my eyes and it's super super pretty. The second color is this kind of light camel color and it's called Champagne. This is what it looks like. The texture of the first one was um, like a Velox Pearl type thing. This is more of a matte color. And this is not going to be as visible, but you get the point. It's kind of a matter, champagne-y camel color. The third color is this guy right here, and it's kind of a yellowish color, and it's called Wheat. And Wheat is a um, yellowish matte color. So I'm going to show you a swatch for that. Here it is. You can barely probably see it because it's barely barely visible. Um, next color is this one right here and it's called Camel and the color I think speaks for itself. It is a lighter brown matte color. Um, there it is on the end. This is a pretty visible color. It's a go in between color like if you're blending from darker shadows to lighter shadows or if you're a really light complexion you can use it as a, an all over color that's really pretty. This color is really, really pretty, really exciting, and it's called Coco. Again, the names pretty much speak for themselves. Coco is also matte. Pretty, huh? Coco is really intense. It's this guy right here on the bottom. Pretty intense. 
And then the last color from this row is this guy right here. And it's called Dark Chocolate. Actually, it's not a chocolatey color. It's kind of a grayish, um, like a grayish brown color, which is, I really like colors like that. There it is. There's a swatch for that. Really pretty, isn't it? So um, next I'm going to swatch the second row, which is the bottom row right here. And the first color that I'm going to swatch there. Okay. Where is it? Is this color right here and it's called beige so here here's what beige looks like beige is really pretty and it is matte um, and it's you know again color speaks for itself really really nice color next one is this peachy pink color right here and it's called peach Peach is super pretty. I was very excited about peach. This is what it looks like. There it is. I hope you can see it. A really nice color. It's going to be a beautiful either highlight or go in between color. Next color is this topish, very light gray color and it's called light gray. And it's a matte color. It's a, it's a, it's a an outstanding color. It's so pretty. I love colors like that. This one is kind of a lighter, like mauve color. Um, actually, they call it pewter. And pewter is a pretty intense matte color. There's pewter. There it is right there. Really cool. And then you get this guy here, which is espresso. It's a really, really pretty color. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I think I'm wearing it as a, like a middle color on my lids. It's just gorgeous. And then the last one is called black. There it is right here. It's a um, pretty intense color. There's just a light swatch of it and you can see how intense that is. Pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to show you all of the colors together and I'm gonna do the cheek colors next. So there you have all the colors from this palette, all the eye colors. Okay so the next one is this medium um, sculpting powder right here and I'm going to swatch it for you right here so you can see it pretty good. It's really pretty. It's very blendable. It's a matte formula, but it, it is um, very, very blendable. So I'm really excited about that one. And then this color right here is another reason why I really wanted this palette. It's called Candlelight. And there's enough information out there on Kevin Akon highlighters. They're extremely coveted. They're just beautiful. They don't emphasize your pores. They look beautiful on. So I'm hoping that you can see it. It's right here. It's really pretty. I'm wearing it on my cheeks as a highlighter. Love the texture, love the formula. It's super fine. It doesn't have a lot of like um, a lot of shine or anything. It's just perfect. The light hits it and it looks just perfect. So I'm really, really, really happy. So again, this is the entire palette and I know like I said it's pretty spandy but honestly if you have this one palette you probably don't need anything else. Again, these are all the colors, and this is what the palette looks like. It's super comfortable. This is the size of it. You know, you can definitely stick it in your purse and take it, like, if you're traveling. Next time I travel, I'm just taking this one palette because that's really all that I will need. I do recommend this palette. Um, I also recommend that you look for places online and see um, if you can get it, like, with some kind of discount. Like, some websites have like 20% discounts all the time. So if you can get it like that, then that'd be pretty cool. Other than that, uh, it would be 165. So is it worth it? Um, yes, to me. And I do love the texture of the shadows and the cheek products in there. So yeah, I recommend this one. If you invest in something like that, that's all you really need. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this review. 
please leave your comments and ask me any questions. Please follow me on Instagram, Amira's Beauty. I'll post the name down below where I do up-close swatches and Insta reviews. Thank you. Bye.